that's, so as most of you know, um, we uh, sold the spark and uh, picked up a 2020 bolt last August. So it was late August last year, and it's July now. Um, I haven't done any videos on it because really there's been nothing to talk about. Uh, it gets the mileage that uh, better than the mileage that it uh, is quoted to get um, for us, and. Um, that just has not been a problem. I know there have been battery issues with uh, the 2017s to the 2019s. Uh, luckily, we bought a 2020. We haven't been affected by it. Knock on wood. I'll pick a tree here in a minute in the background to knock on. Um, yeah, so uh, here's going to be a video um, of the first issue I've had, which was uh, of our own making. And um, everything's been good so far. So there it is, the 2020 with the 66 kilowatt battery. And like I said, no real issues. We got uh, PPE on the whole front of it. Um, so the hood, uh, the front bumper, uh, the headlights, and everything are all PPE'd all the way back, which is great because we've already gotten some stone chips. Uh, that's not a stone chip, there is one on here somewhere. Those are bugs. There it is there. We've already got a stone chip here. We'll have to take that back and get them to, to repair it or see if they can repair it anyway. Um, but yeah, so we are at almost 50,000 kilometers, I think. And yeah, so we're looking at uh, almost 50,000 kilometers, as you can see. And it hasn't even been a year yet. Um, everything's been fine. Uh, as you can see, like the max kilometers right now on a full charge. Well, actually, it's not full charge because it's not plugged in. Uh, it's uh, 493, 418, and we used it last night <coughs> after a full charge. Um, I don't reset the distance because I want this to be as accurate as possible uh, as far as how far we can go. Uh, so the la I reset it at 10,000 uh, when the car had 10,000 kilometers on it, as you can see, 38, 48. Um, and I haven't reset it since. Um, if you leave that distance uh, cleared and accumulating, then your average will be uh, pretty accurate. So this number uh, in the GOM uh, will be pretty bang on for where you're gonna go. But even if you do reset it, don't worry about it because it is, uh, it really calculates quite well uh, how far uh, it's gonna go. But this average now is summer and winter uh, combined based on that. Uh, and yeah, so uh, it does very, very well. We're, we're pleased with it. I mean, you do have the odd, uh, I mean, only once, okay, you have almost 50,000 kilometers, only once has the radio kind of locked up and you do you press the home and the fast forward button and hold it down and it resets the radio that's the only trick that i've had to use in our playbook of uh, driving a computer daily my wife drives this uh, every day about 100 and, uh, 120 130 kilometers on average every day seven days a week um so we plug it in in the winter time it's plugged in every night because it's cold in the summertime it doesn't get that hot here so uh, we don't plug it in for battery uh, conditioning but in winter time we do i guess on a regular day like today in the summertime it'll probably get plugged in every second day um, when it's about uh, you know anywhere from 40 to 50 percent we'll plug it back in again kind of thing so uh, we'll get on to the video of uh, the rear seat removed uh, due to a stain that was in the center. The dish soap spilled all over the back seat. So we'll go over and show it to you. We're going to take out the back seat, remove the cloth, clean it up, put it all back together, and put it back in the car. Hopefully it'll all work out well. Um, so as you can see, it's totally soaked. So... Uh, You'll see under here, um, on each side there's a clip, and I'll just flip the seat up and I'll show you. So here's the clip, and you unclip these, pull up on the seat while you're, you're doing it, unclip it, pull up, go to the other side, unclip, pull up, and the seat comes out pretty much. 
So you've got the seat belts that were in here, they pop through. This one's the only one that's an issue because it is attached because it's a shoulder belt to the back base. And I'll show you that here. Get the seat out of the way. So there's a bolt here that you have to undo. Very simple, it's 18 mil. And it, uh, that's the way that piece goes on there. And then this is the belt for the uh, right side passenger. And then the lap belt is the other one that comes through and they just pop out through that hole. But of course you'll have to feed that back in there uh, and bolt it in first before you clip the seat in. There's little clips right here that clip on the back here. Clip into there, then you click it in and uh, Bob's your uncle. So we're gonna take this apart and uh, take this fabric off and we'll rinse that before we wash the whole thing in the uh, washing machine because we can't put that much soap in the washing machine. Okay, so here we have the, uh, the bolt seat out. And you'll see on the back, they have all these little clips. And uh, they really, they just slide into these holes, right? And they're grooved and they just clip in. So you have to pop those, go along <clears throat> and pop those out. So I'm, I've started, I'll uh, finish in a second. And you also have uh, little body pins, which we see often. So you have a bunch of these that are clipped into these and then clipped into these holes right there. So just, you have to remember that these two are overlapped and they clip into that one hole kind of thing. And you'll see those down along as we go here. And we'll have to uh, pop those guys out, put them aside safely. And then the whole cover should just come off. So I'm just gonna go in here with a little body tool, pop these guys out. Some of you may notice that this is for working with uh, caulking, <laughs> this tool. But hey, works great for this too. Foam. But there, you can see here there's little, uh, there are little Velcro pieces to kind of hold the, the shape of things. You just undo those hog rings in the back. Okay. So we'll have to deal with that. see the hog rings there but just you can see the soap <laughs> all the blue soap straight through the foam and then there there's the base of your seat nice there let's see if you can see so I tried the hog ring but it's just this one's just too big I have a C-clamp one, but I don't know where it is. So I'm just using uh, numerals pliers uh, and prying the numerals pl pliers apart. So turn the hog ring so that the two open ends are, are up and then force the uh, needle nose pliers in so that it opens up like this one's opened up. You can see, uh, this one's opened up and you want to open it so that you can be able to get it back in and then clamp it. So you don't want to open up too much. So uh, yeah, that's it.
So again, grabbing the ring, turning it so it's facing, the open parts are facing up, and then pulling it apart enough to uh, get that piece out. And you may have to hold on to one side of the ring so you can turn it to get the, the piece to pass through the opening that you've created in the hog ring. There you go, there's all the soap. And there's the hog rings, and these are the Velcro straps. There's more hog rings in there. So that'll be the fun part, is putting it all back together. And uh, getting this soap out of here, I guess, too. But hey guys, um, so we ran it through the washing machine last night uh, on a large load and uh, cold water. And uh, hung it outside, don't put it in a dryer. Um, I don't know about the fabric and whether it'll shrink or not, but I'm assuming it will. So I'll just try and let it dry normally. Uh, imagine that there will be a little bit of shrinkage even with, you know, I just us just watching, washing it with cold water. But um, yeah, so we'll let that dry for a bit and uh, we'll try and fit it all back together. There you guys. So everything's all dried back together. Um, so, wasn't difficult to uh, to put back together um, just remember you got the hog rings that are in here and right here and uh, there and there and it's just a matter of uh, clipping them back in and then squeezing them together once you've had them opened with the uh, needle nose pliers and yeah back together soap's gone back in you'll see those are the clips at the front and then uh, clips in at the back Okay, so uh, we're going to put the seat back in. Right. So we'll have to run these back through into the seat. Um, this puppy here, I'll have to undo that because we're going to attach the uh, uh, seat belt and uh, the shoulder belt back, but it has to go through the seat itself. And then you have the clips here and the hooks here that hook into the seat uh, and hold it in place. Sorry, the hooks here that uh, hold it in place. And there's two more on the other side. Let's see how, whether you guys can see any of that. We're going to tuck that through there. Make sure you uh, uh, make sure that you make the, the, sure the seat belt is not twisted uh, when you run it through. I don't know if you guys can see. We'll try and make it so you can see. Let's try another spot. So we'll get you involved with putting that seat belt back on. So you can see there's a little clip right here and the bolt and there's a groove so you're feeding it back through make sure the strap is uh, straight the seat belt is uh, not uh, wrinkled or twisted slip that down there try and make it so you can see and this is an 18, 18 millimeter for it. And then uh, there we go. So now we're going to pass these puppies through uh, and reset these guys as well. 
and we'll be hooking the seat onto this. It'll fit right in there and we'll sit on that. So, and there we go, we'll feed these guys back through here. I do have separate pockets for each to go through. These guys just come through this together. And then you have the clips. So here, these are the clips that we're talking about under here. So we just have to push the, the bench back so that it fits in the slot and so these guys can lock onto it. So I'm just gonna push this back this way and down in the front and it'll fit into the clip. That's it, it's locked in, seat belts are done set up so that everybody can use the right one. This one goes to the center, this one goes to the passenger, uh, to the driver's side passenger, and same with this one goes to the, so yeah, don't forget the orientation, right? This side, the inside is to the, the person. Same here, inside to the person, inside to the person. You don't want these flipped around. People are gonna have trouble. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. So here we go, we can see that uh, everything's back together and the seat's nice and clean. The stain, well, the stain, the large amount of liquid soap that was sitting in here is all gone. And uh, yeah, everything looks nice and clean.